hello everybody welcome back to the channel this is my completed pages for august i think i colored 24 pictures in various books um yeah so brilliant i will uh, crack on with it uh, and just show you what i've done so i've been trying to get rid of some of my whips i had about 13 14 at the start of the month maybe 15 i am now down to 10 i think probably 11 with what i started this month which is fine um, so I am slowly getting in control of the whips however the ones that are coming up are the big ones that are going to take a longer time to finish so we may not have any of those done for a time anyway however I did uh, one picture in Beach Vacation colouring book this is a Jade Summer book this is me trying to colour in all my Jade Summer books and I did this one with a mixture of pencils the pencils I used were the I want to say the colorista ones on this one this was colorista and then i finished it off with the faber castell black edition ones because it ended up going downstairs as they do but yeah i really enjoyed that it was quite nice i mean i did all the most of it and then it was just like the little bits like the clouds and the houses and the shells and it just sat around for a while while i thought about doing it but it is now done next one i did was another jade summer and this was secret jungle gosh i've had this book a long time and never colored in it so i like the fact that i have now and i did this lovely giraffe with all the plants around it this was done pretty much completely with the faber castell um black edition so they really are nice nice pencils i do like them one of my longest standing whips has been the cover page from uh, Johanna Basford's <laughs> Enchanted Forest. It's the only page I've done in it and I've had this book years. And I've, I half did it, well I nearly finished it and then I stopped um, and I finished it this month. And basically it's literally just the cover, the title page here. And majority of it has been done with ink tents. Um, I finished it off with the uh, Faber-Castell Black Edition Greens uh, just to finish it off and did some glitter gel pen for the words so now i can actually color a proper page in it i'm, I'm terrible for things like that uh, but it's finished it's done it's one off my list hooray i did one in tales from city among the stars this one was a whip that was hanging around from the time i was on my baby back from holiday i actually started it on the plane me and jennifer were coloring on the plane and she was coloring in one of her books and i was coloring in this one and I did this, these flying birds, and it's all in glitter gel pens, and it's so sparkly. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I really do. It's just all glitter gel pen, mostly link shine, although I did run out of the link shine silver and had to find some others. I went and ordered some link shines, <laughs> the silver ones. You can buy packs of 10 of them, luckily. On to the patterns. Oh, I've got a stack of patterns. I did another one in 300 mandalas by Sally Berry. I try and do one every now and again, sometimes one a month. I've actually got a whip in here at the moment that I started the other day. Let me just find the one I did. This is what I'm doing. I don't want you seeing that. So I did this one, and this was done with um, various markers. Again, this is a box of markers I've got that I use that's like shuttle art. Uh, United Office, there's a few Sharpies in there, in fact I think that blue was a Sharpie um, yeah, so that's what those were and yeah, I just enjoyed it, I do love this book there's just so many great patterns in it another Jade Summer book here, I did one in the newer book, Elegant Patterns Adult Colouring and as I, you know me, you know how much I love my glitters I did this one all in glitter. I actually really look like this and I should share it on the Jade Summer page but I haven't done it yet. I love it. It's all shiny. It's all different yellows. It's just, it's just literally, it's link shine again but oh, it looks so nice. I just, I just love it. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a picture of that and share it to their web page and I'll put that out of the way. I did uh, one in 100 Amazing Patterns, again by Jade Summer. I've got so many of these hundred books that I like to try and do them every now and again. Uh, let's find where we were. Oh, this was a buddy colour with Molly. Hello, Molly. Yes, we did this one. I forgot it was a buddy colour because then I thought, hang on, why is it back there? I always do them in order. 
it's because it was a buddy colour. So yeah, did this one with Molly Newland. Um, it was great. Again, it's various bright markers, um, but they're water-based ones. So these would be the Deco Time ones. And possibly, no, definitely, um, the Amazon markers as well. I love those Amazon markers. They're flipping brilliant. Then I have the Realms Colour by Numbers now. 100 Best, uh, 100 best Adult Colour by Numbers uh, by Sun Life Drawing. Did I only do one in this one this month? I think it's only the one. Yeah, only one. And I did this, a flowery one. Again, this has been done with um, Deco Time and the... I can't think of the name of them again. I just told you the Amazon ones, and as you know, things like that. That's all. That's what it was. Might be a bit of super tips in there as well. I'm terrible. I really am. I did two in a hundred easy mandalas, color by number by Sachin Sach Deva, and I did this one again with the same water-based markers. I like it. It's very colourful, very pretty, and I did this one as well same markers the orange one is definitely one of the deco time ones you can tell by the color of that <laughs> so yeah i mean i've enjoyed i mean I've, again because of what's been going on and my mental health's been shot to bits it's mostly been patterns again this month um, but it's okay i've enjoyed them I, I mean it's not even st patrick's day and i did one in the st patrick's day book by sachin such day because i was in the mood and i did this little owl and isn't he cute Again, this would have been done with the Deco Times, I believe. Looking at it. They're not going to last very long because Jennifer uses them as well. Oh, I like that book though. And then I did uh, Sachin Stetch Davis Stained Glass Halloween. Colour by number. I haven't done many in this book because I only got it last year. I did this one. Yeah, it's quite nice though. And this was, uh, again, various colour marks. I think they're mostly Amazon looking at it. You can see they are the Amazon ones. And then I did one in stained glass Christmas. And I did this one. Christmas is slowly coming as is Halloween. And I did that one and I, I like the bells. I think they look really pretty. And it's that one. We're well, now on to 10 books to finish and I actually finished another book this month. Whee! So it's actually now eight books from next month. The one I finished was this one, Witch Fantasy, and I will do a fl full flip through of it once uh, I've done this video so you, I can show you the whole book including the bonus pages. So I did this page this month and these have been done again with the either the Amazons or the Deco Time or a mix of both. And the same one, not this one, that's one I'd done last month. And then this one as well. That's um, But yes, I have now finished two colouring books. Hooray! Isn't it mad? We get so many colouring books and I've finished two. But that's good. I mean, it's hard enough to complete one book. I don't know how people do it, but I, I guess some people do it because they just colour it in one book and they colour it from start to finish. Whereas me, I like to mix it all up but yes I have finished this book so I'll be doing a flip through of that later uh, I did another one in Chelsea's Pretty Creations and it was this one so you can see why I started running out of silver because I've used it all here as well in fact I think it was on this picture I ran out of them um, so I've done this Jennifer's been colouring this as well but uh, <laughs> there you go she liked the lollipop one um, but once, uh, once it's I've finished it I'll do a flip through and show you all the pages including whichever ones Jennifer's done she may not have finished hers but uh, I will show you but I enjoyed doing that one this month it's really nice again various alcohol and gel markers uh, then oh, let's put that to one side because I need that this month um, easy flower mandalas I did two I did two in this one because I thought I could finish this book this month I could this year this year there's not many left in it I could finish it so let me just find it well, sometimes I do them glittery and sometimes I don't oh I did this one this was with the Giotto turbo glitters oh, I love it it's so sparkly 
And the next one's done with the Giotto Turbo Glitter as well. And that one as well was done with them, but it was done with more colours. I actually really like that one. I think the red's nearly run out. I'm going to have to go on my wish list for some more of those, I think, if I can get them again. Because I liked those. So I'm hoping that this one I will finish soon. And another one I'm hoping to finish this year definitely will be the Creative Haven Rose Windows. Again, there's not many of them left, so. And I did, I only did one. Yeah, I only did one in this one. Did I only do one? I did that one. Maybe that was last one. Oh, well. Anyway, let me just show you which one I did. I can't remember anymore. I, I've lost the plot this month, I tell you. It's not been, I've not been right. So this one. I always pretty much use the same pens in here, although I did use do one with the um, Ohuhu pastels. But these are the Crolando markers. I love them. They're so gorgeous. They smell nice as well. So, yeah, hopefully I will finish that one. I'll try and do one or two in that book this month. The rest of them I'm definitely not going to finish, but I'm still going to colour in them as much as I can. Um, the uh, Kawaii Colour by Number. Cute Stuff Colouring Book by Colour Questopia. I did another one in. And like, as you know, I hate doing the silver around the edges. It bores me senseless. But I did this cute little kitten with his drink, or her drink, and all the little cups. And I thought that was really cute. So it is a cute book. I will keep keep working on this 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 year um it's not a huge book but i might finish it next year i'm, I'm debating and i think i might keep the same whatever's left and then pick another five to work in i, I haven't decided yet um did i do one in here there's no marker in it no i haven't done one in that one but i have done one in 50 easy mandalas by jade summer did oh gosh and these are getting quite done now aren't they i did this blue and silver one so i used a lot of silver this month as you can tell which is why i haven't got any silver left so i'll be doing some more on this one i like this but it's fun it's easy and it's just good to do and then the last two are the two jades and a colour by number and so we've got mandalas here and I did one in this one which was this beautiful one I actually think this looks really nice normally I moan about the different oranges but that looks really pretty I must admit I've not done one in this one I'm sure I did one in this one uh, I am not with it at all now if this is the last one the rest of them I haven't done pictures in for some reason I've missed a couple I thought I had maybe I have and I haven't marked them but I'm really pretty good at putting the tabs in so yes this is the last one um, and I hopefully we'll do some more in this one as well this month um, but yeah those are all the pictures I coloured in the month of August I think my favourite one this month is the one from either Elegant Patterns by Jade Summer, Summer or The City Among the Stars because I thought they were absolutely gorgeous so yeah hope to colour a lot more in the month of September yeah these two these are my favourites um hopefully I will and I will see you in the next video so you take care and thanks for watching bye